Oh, this is this is really good. This is oh, uh, hello. Uh, how's my how's my new buddy? That's awesome. And I am, I understand you have one of the silent bears, not the talking bears. He is a silent bear. I, I speak to him through a mind connection. That's okay. That's okay. Most I, I have to be honest with you. There's much more non-talking bears than talking bears. Only a few. Of I know. I mean, like you're seriously, you're seriously impressive, Thank Bobby, you. And, Thank you. and like. Will is also seriously impressed. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Well, that's very nice. But I hear, I hear William has uh, traveled the world. William has traveled the world. What, yes. what, con what countries has he gone to? He has been, so this is his, this is his passport. That's excellent. That's excellent. Passport with, his, with his picture in it. Oh, he travels legit. He travels legit. He doesn't do the back road traveling like I have to. No, no, okay. no. And he goes through customs and he gets his stamps uh, just nice. like everybody else. And where has he been? He's been um, in Brazil. He's been in Australia. He's been, nice. he's been uh, New Zealand. He's wow. been in the U.S. Wow. He's been to um, um, Chile and um, where else has he been? Oh, loads of places. That's a lot of traveling. What's been his favorite place? I think his favorite place is the U.S. Ah, uh, really? Does he got a favorite state? Massachusetts. Oh, he likes the chowder. Boston. He likes the chowder. He, he likes knows. the Red Sox. There you go. He likes that. Now, was there any uh, situation that he got into in any country where it was a bad deal and he had to get out really fast? Oh, you know, he had a terrible bungee accident in New Zealand. Oh, my gosh. Um, Let's talk about fact, that. What happened? You can see, like, his lovely velvet outfit on uh -huh. there. Yes, yes. I, he decided he wanted to do a bungee jump um, right. off the Kauri Bridge. Okay. And, um, and that, the, the, that doesn't sound good. The crew there were up for it. So, okay. so he, you know, he went out on the bridge. Right. And he, and he, and he did his jump, but it was... It was a near catastrophic, near fatal accident. There was because... a cat involved? Was there a cat? Because whenever there's a cat. There's no I could... cat. No, oh, there okay. was no cat. It was, but... it was nearly barostrophic. But because it was barostrophic. <laughs> yes. Exactly, because um, he, he's so light that it was almost like um, a human being jumping on a, a, a clothesline. You know, there was yeah, no... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just jerked him, and his head nearly came off completely and he wow. lost his brand new wool sweater and his bow tie and his velvet jacket wow. and lost nothing. So they pulled him up very carefully and his head was still intact, but he had to be, he had to be rebuilt. He's a little like the bionic man. Well, we're glad he's okay. That's, that's, that's okay though. So um, how did he get into traveling? So William first arrived in a box at my house, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, all the way from Switzerland, wow. with a little note saying that he had been sent with lots of love so that I would have someone to cuddle. Okay, okay. And um, I was getting divorced at the time, and it was gotcha. a little bit of a strange and lonely time. Uh, so he was a care bear. He was a care bear sent from my, my beloved brother in Switzerland and, and his wife. Very nice. And I named him William. He came nice. without a name. Okay. Name William. And then, and then, because I was traveling a very great deal at the time, uh -huh. he came with me. That's great. That's very good. So, what's uh, your fondest memory of William? Oh, my fondest memory. I think our trip in New Zealand, because after he hurt his neck, I hurt my neck. Oh my gosh, that's not good. And we were <laughs> in a car accident, and so we were both in Nelson, in New Zealand, getting our necks fixed. Uh -huh. And then, and working with dolphins right. um, on a project out there, and it was very healing and very wonderful. What were you doing uh, with the dolphins? Because one of my things is to find my porpoise. So, uh, uh, what were you doing <laughs> with the dolphins? We found lots of porpoises. Yeah, and <laughs> like three hundred of them. We were we were doing a study with um with working with some scientists to do a study on the effects of swimming with dolphins with the on the dolphins. Ah. Uh. They must get pissed was, off sometimes. <laughs> they're not. They they do quite like it, but it is a little disruptive, particularly. I'm telling in you, the if I was a if I was a dolphin and all the time I had these people coming up to me to to swim with me and to pet me, I'd be a little pissed off, to be honest with you. 
I wonder what my EKG, I wonder what my neuroscience data would be on that. <laughs> they don't mind it so much. They're very interested. They're very loving towards human beings. But there are certain times when it's better not to try and swim with them when they're just gotcha. doing things you need to do. Gotcha. So is that what you do for work? You do science stuff? I don't do science stuff, no. But I really, I want like I, I am a, I was a kind of wannabe scientist. Oh, that's great. And Earthwatch allows you to go and be a wannabe scientist. So you're like a, a science group. You're like a science yeah. groupie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Got a petri yeah, yeah. Dish, you got a petri dish in your back pocket, and <laughs> go on an adventure. Uh, that's oh crap! I gotta go. I really enjoy this. I want to stay in touch with Willem. <laughs>